everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the Wi-Fi roaming sensitivity or aggressiveness in your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So roaming sensitivity is the rate at which your device selects and switches to different points of access. So this definitely will have an impact on your signal quality. And in terms of how aggressive you want your settings to be, you can go ahead and make those adjustments through device manager and we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in device manager, best result should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on the network adapter selection in here and then you want to locate your wireless network connection type. So go ahead and double click on the network connection in here. Select the advanced tab and now you want to locate roaming aggressiveness over here on the left side. So I'm using Ethernet, I'm in a virtual environment, I'm not going to have that option over here, but you'd have an option over here on the left panel if it was available in your system to access roaming aggressiveness, you would select that, and then on the right side you can adjust the value, any value between the number 1 and 5, 1 being lowest priority aggressiveness and 5 being the highest aggressiveness. To so basically the number 1 or lowest would mean that your device will not roam, Medium low would mean that roaming is allowed. If you set it to medium, it's a balanced setting between the roaming and performance. If you set it to medium high, roaming is more frequent. And if you set it to highest, or the, I believe it's number five it corresponds with, the device will continuously track the Wi-Fi quality. And if any degradation occurs in the signal, it'll try and find a better access point. So it'll obviously depend on how much you want to running in the background, what your selection choice would be. Once you made any changes, you will need to select OK to save it, and that's pretty much it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.